regardless, I guess onwards we go. For honor and glory. Yeah, these sons of guns are causing me way more issues than I would expect. Just baby draconians? Excuse me? Don't know what hit us there. They probably tried to do some kind of teleporting shenanigans. Unfortunately, it doesn't have too much of a, an effect on us here. And there we go. Because we're still not getting under auto fight territory. So that's our uh, kind of small redeeming uh, factor to all these encounters. Even though they look nasty and they're definitely not going quite as smoothly as I may otherwise have hoped. Still not falling below 50%, so that is lovely. Pop you bad boys in here, and that is wonderful. I guess we kind of need to keep our cloak on. I was trying to think if we might want to start looking through all the cloaks on the floor here, but the poison resistance is super useful. Not just because we've kind of been lacking it in any other meaningful capacity here so far throughout the run. Ooh, and a, a Marcus trap. How dare you? I mean, I guess it's nice of the game to just throw a mark trap on us right here at the very, very end of the floor. So I appreciate that. A little bit of, of kindness, I guess, from the game. Okay, and here we go. This is a bit more interesting. I'm going to immediately get some allies in the room. Then I should probably try to kill this moth before they get a, too ham with anyone around us here and otherwise probably actually just tap the rest of this i was looking at holy fire or rather i was thinking about holy fire in my head but seems a bit uh overzealous when we're already kind of just rampaging here wait who the heck did that you have power plastic surge or maybe it's upheaval Probably a people, if I had to guess. I guess Quaslal has that effect on folks. Okie dokie. Back into the, the mix we go. There we go. Finally can start helping out. As most of our shots were unfortunately blocked by our allies for the majority of the encounter, but that's fine. Um, interesting staff, but of no real use for us. Let's just drop that bad boy before I forget it exists and it clogs up our inventory. Again, not that it really matters in general, I guess, at this stage, seeing as how we're pretty unlikely to find a, a wide variety of equipment that we really want to bring with us. Also, should have used magic mapping quite a while ago, but say la vie. You know what, against you kids, let's do a little bit of the old safety strats. Back ourselves into a nice little corner here, and then we can murder them at our own pace to our heart's content. Fantastic. And another Grand Weapon Scroll. So finally we're getting a pretty wide slew of them, but unfortunately I think, I don't think we'll be using it. I'm pretty happy with the Holy Wrath that we've got going for us right now, so not exactly looking to uh, make any major changes in our lives. Except to try and murder that Moth of Wrath as quickly as possible. That was a good change to make. So let's finish off the last wee bit of the floor here, and we'll be in the end game. Holy moly. There's a little bit of planning that could potentially go into that endeavor. I could head to Crypt now, just hop off on Petey, just in case. The other thing that's tempting is that we don't go into the lungs yet. You know, we top off before we head into the lungs, but with the rest of the area, should be fine. The issue there is if we get teleported into the lungs, then we're not exactly in tip-top fighting shape but I mean at the end of the day we might actually just be fine we have some summoning scrolls we have enough to at least phone in a few angels and they uh, 
you know, they pack a pretty, pretty good wall up here. So don't think that will be too much of an issue. And there we go. Zerk Dragon is a problem. Orb Guardians, if they'd come out, would have very quickly caused issues in that encounter. Because, yeah, we're already kind of starting to fight our way through. <laughs> so, might be something to be said for uh, let's not worry about that crypt top off. <laughs> RPD and just go, go ham. Guess we'll see. Maybe in this next short while here, we'll just burn through our PD at a wild rate. I mean, that was a lot more damage than I expected. I guess kind of deserved when I don't have any corrosion resistance. So let's, let's rectify that problem first and foremost. I'm at minus eight. Okay, so we're gonna just go a little bit ham on the abilities there, kind of as we were hypothesizing of maybe a self-fulfilling prophecy to a certain extent but doesn't make it any less true at least not in this context okay definitely need to kill you okay that net could have been a bit of an issue for us but now i'll i'll get back to helping out my friends there we go back to, <laughs> may now be prepared to just finish off the last little bit of the outer zone here will make me feel better about coming back here in a few short moments beautiful let us I mean it'd probably be a pretty quick dip into crypt but also kind of a necessary feeling at least that's my my general view on it at the moment here but it's a good strategy so let's let's you know pay some amount of respect to doing the intelligent thing here and and maybe who knows maybe it helps someone down the line who is in a bit of a rougher spot coming into the end of Zod always nice to top off with the holy guards by heading over to crypt here And especially with the Shining One, because you're guaranteed the Holy Wrath weapon. Which pretty much gives you carte blanche here in Crypt. Oh, hello, Josephina. Fortunately for you, Cold Resistance is kind of my thing, buddy. Otherwise, you could have been very scary. And, you know, I commemorate you for that. But, unfortunately... Just not your day, friend. And yeah, we're already up at max stars of PD, so definitely didn't feel completely necessary to come this way, but hey, it's a nice little top off. Make sure that we can just pull out all the stops we head into the lungs. Cause you never really know how those initial encounters are gonna go on that side of things. So better safe than sorry, and then we're ready to go. We'll also go through and let's just max out our enchantment here shall we so that should do it beautiful and then is there anything oh my tower shield yeah let's let's enchant the crap out of my tower shield that seems nice how high does a tower shield go whoa I just read a scroll of summoning this is why we don't mindlessly spam click our consumables. Whoops. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't completely uh, come back to bite us in the rear here, but should be okay. And back to Zot we go. Take off our exclusion and it's time face the music. I guess we can do a quick little peek here. We have this one alarm trap that we'd like to avoid. Oof. This is alarm trapped a lot more than I would like, honestly. I mean, the one nice thing is we can kind of cheese using this teleport trap. And in fact, that's a lot. Net traps are a big problem for us. So, at the risk of potentially...
causing some amount of alarm. Let's, let's just go this way for now. Because we're, we're just like damaging enemies and then letting them escape throughout the level, so that doesn't feel great. <laughs> In fact, especially like that orb of fire. Where did you go, my friend? Because I'm, I'm concerned. I have concerns about you, for sure. I could forget the floor. Let's drop an exclusion here, do a little bit of this, and let's just make sure that we don't have that, that fiery friend uh, sitting around somewhere behind us here. It seems like it would be a good thing to just check in on, you know, a little bit of insurance, beautiful. Uh, so undo that, remove my exclusion, and head back this direction, please, and thank you, my good good sir also that alarm trap there again just up to the gills in uh, alarms right now but let's chill here people will keep stepping into the trap I'll try to kill them before they have an opportunity to do so but of course no real promises either way Fire, where did you go? Excuse me, you coming back or not so much? Because most enemies try to make it back to the the location of last encounter here, but apparently not so much here. It's not at the moment. Well, doesn't look like as many enemies. If the alarm traps should be triggered, let's just be cool about it. Okay, step in such a way to try and avoid it as much as possible. That seems smart. Phone in as many angels as we uh, feel necessary. Beautiful. Definitely take out the orb of fire a hell of a lot faster this time around. So love that. Plus three pair of gloves. I'm currently wearing dex gloves. I mean, the dex gloves are probably better, but let's grab these. A nice little treat for our, our trip home after all is said and done, maybe. Do, do, do. And regular draconians, not an issue. Sitting in the cloud of flame. Honestly, didn't even notice. Um, any alarm traps here? There is one way over yonder, but we can just mark that son of a gun for the, the moment here. And just keep on burning rubber, I guess. Appreciate the hydrate redemption as well, because I, I definitely felt ourselves tunnel visioning in. You know what, let's, let's definitely wrap up this cut here. Mm -mm -mm. Then I guess... We're just going for it. Um, slightly concerned about that Moth of Wrath. Since again, Berserk Orb Guardians can pretty quickly become a, a problem, to say the least, but fortunately, I guess, or rather, I guess our friends were able to take care of a lot of the, the potential sore spots there. Ooh, I am just getting wailed on by mutations, but nothing nothing too horrible there. I mean, occasionally losing the ability to drink potions. Maybe not ideal, but that doesn't seem to be a problem, especially since they're less effective at healing us anyway, so what would I be even getting out of it in the first place? Okie dokie. Well... There's again a temptation to do a complete wrap on this attempt, especially since with Formicids you can't teleport, so you, I can't do my usual little shenanigans when it comes to grabbing the orb. I could also, again, if I wanted to play this intelligently, head back up to Crypt once more, re-up on PD on Crypt 2, and then be 
for sure maxed out and just ready to summon divine warriors to my heart's content on the escape. But we'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> How could it possibly go wrong? As I walk into the room full of alarm traps. Oh, and something got summoned in behind us. Well, let's just ignore them for now. And hello, purple draconian. I was wondering how our angel reappeared, but right, they took a teleport trap, so it makes sense that they were just wandering somewhere about the level. Don't let us, let Auto Explorer take the wheel, shall we? Ooh, and if you're gonna give me a bunch of free demons, then what was what was the point of potentially wanting to re-up on Beauty? It would just get it for free. Why buy the crypt when you can get the Beauty for free? Is this a run where I feel like potentially trying to kill a pan lord? I generally enjoy doing such. A stream of stolen suffering. Extreme misery in its wake and around its targets. Negative energy clouds that they drain us of max health at a percentage rate. Interesting. I mean... I guess I'm not near any stairs. So really, probably need to kill you, right? And you're dead. <laughs> okay. I mean, we're definitely uh, doing pretty well for ourselves. There's the torment. So that's still a bit of a, an is issue point, really. Let's try not to let that become too, too prevalent of a factor, shall we? Again, yeah, does help when angel buddies are just murdering everyone. Oh, that didn't feel like orb run enemies. That felt like regular enemies. Did I not actually finish clearing the area? How foolish and thoughtless of me. Okay, spellford, not spellforge servitor, profane servitor. Definitely in a similar zone to a lot of pan lords. Might as well take them out. You know, make make the shining one proud. And uh, do our job here in this life. So we get hit by quite a few more mutations. Let's not worry too, too much about that, shall we? Onwards and upwards. And it's one of the times that that, uh, that platitude of mine actually does make sense. We are going upwards, finally. Um, I wasn't sure if it would just be like a null pack that I left behind on D6 or a bunch of demons. Turned out to be the latter, but still not really an issue for us. Okay, auto explorer, you can do it, please. Take me away. And keep going. Ooh. Another pan lord, you say? Chain lightning. Okay, this. This buddy can pack a bit more of a wall. Plasma beam, I'm also less familiar with, so that always adds a certain level of trepidation into things. But Holy Brand, as well as Holy Branded Friends, means that Pan Lords should fall. And you can kind of see, if you haven't watched, um, I think we did, I think it was a Forma said 15 room run um, as a ranged character of the Shining One. If you didn't watch that though, you can kind of see even from this limited display why this character is pretty dang strong even in the context of the 15 rune run. Because pan lords just melt, especially if this was a triple crossbow of holy wrath, then uh, it'd be almost depressing how little of a chance all of our, our buddies have here. Excuse me, a deva? How dare you my friend. Okie dokie, with that out of the way, let's just chug some mutation for fun here. Fortunately, we're not with uh, Zin, so this isn't, is not an offensive thing. Kind of came out with a bit of a wash there, but not too bad. And then last but not least, I uh, don't know, Might, Brilliance, enlighten ourselves a little bit while we're at it. Would turn into a tree if I could still walk out of here in that setup but attraction sure why not 
And last but not least, in grand tradition, let's drink some Ambrosia of the Gods and then get out of here. Ooh, first try too, not too shabby. And there we have it, a really solid run on Antony. Again, largely carried by that, that heavy shortbow that we got early on in the run, but glad we were able to kind of take that early lead and convert it into some amount of success here. Get one of the, the good gods checked off of our list as well, so that is fantastic. And, and yeah, things are, are generally looking pretty good. It was a really fun run overall. A bit on the easy side, but again, that was kind of fitting for my, my mental headspace the last week and today, so I'm so more than happy to do so. I hope that that doesn't translate to it being too boring for any of you lovely folks, of course, but... But yeah, I, I had a lot of fun, and so I just hope, I guess, at the end of the day, that it was some proportional amount of fun to uh, to witness as well here. Especially maybe after we've been piloting some some runs into the ground a bit a bit fast and loose lately. So so nice to get one solid one in. Very cool. Could think about jumping into another, but I might actually just call it here. Um, you know, a little bit of a shorter day still, but that works with with the busy, busy schedule here. So, you know, I hope that there will be some level of patience to that, especially since I'm not sure if we'll even have enough cut up videos to, to bear out the week here. But I think that will be a bit of a better fit for, for how things are going on my end. Get some rest and end on a big win. Hey, thanks, Thelfon, for... Uh, for giving me the, the confirmation there, you know, I don't have to feel so bad about it. And if anyone complains, I'll just point them at you. I hope that's all right. <laughs> no, um, of course not, but I do appreciate it. Um, Cause yes, I think that will be my strategy here. Definitely want to get rested up. I have some construction projects coming up here over the next while. So between work and doing that on the, the side should be, should be a fairly busy time. Hopefully not too stressful. I don't mind Disney. Um, Disney? <laughs> Off-brand Disney? No, I don't mind busyness, but definitely when it hits a certain level of stress is where it can start to take a bit of a mental toll, so hopefully I can thread the line, find that sweet spot, because at the end of the day, I mean, coding, I enjoy as much as I always have, and then on the construction, you know, hobby project side of things, it's been too long since I built something with my hands and I love doing so. So I'm actually very excited for that. It'll be a lot of work. I'll have to get my lazy butt out of this seat for, you know, longer than just short spurts of time. Uh, but all this sounds, even though I'm saying them like complaints, they sound like just beneficial factors and qualities that should be added to my life. So, so I think that'll be a good time. But hey, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll frustrate myself because I'll forgone every single like skill and how to use every tool and it'll be a nightmare. But I guess that's actually not too bad. Part of the fun was learning things. I'm a big fan of trying to pick stuff up and figure it out as quickly as possible. Doesn't always go as smoothly as I might have liked, but but generally I managed to scrape by, if just barely so. So looking forward to it. But okie dokie. I guess, yeah, with that, I mean, again, obviously a huge amount of appreciation for all you lovely folks, uh, those chatting alongside us here lurking in the background. Hey, if you're watching this down the road through the, the VODs on Twitch or YouTube, then thanks for joining us. Again, I hope that it was an enjoyable run to watch. Maybe had a bit of a, a learning thing at the end there, even though generally the run just got lucky. But, you know, some, some fun little PD management strats, so, so that's something. But yes, of course, a huge amount of appreciation for all of you lovely folks. And yeah, we'll definitely be jumping in. I guess next week we'll be back at it. Should be at least. We'll see how it goes with that construction project. Because the week next weekend is when a lot of that will be taking place. So if I don't show up, it's probably because I got a bit overwhelmed. But, but plan to definitely be back in, especially since the week after that. In fact, let me do a quick check in here so yeah next sunday will likely still be around but the one after that i will be out of town and in fact i will likely be completely away from any electricity or service so 
so chances are I'll be relaxing out by a lakeside somewhere. Um, so apologies that we'll be missing that week, but we'll see how it goes. I don't know if we'll have time to kind of store up a good backlog of material. So again, if you're watching these on YouTube, then I also apologize if there's a bit of a downturn at that point, but I hope you understand. And, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to a little bit of R&R, &R, so should be nice all in all. But okie dokie, with that, with all of my, my boring, I don't know, infrastructure scheduling stuff out of the way, yuck, let's, uh, let's instead just focus on ending out the stream the way we usually do. So of course I will do a quick check just to see who else is live at the moment, who we can send a raid off to to finish off the eve. You'll just give me but a moment here. Oh, oh my. I'm definitely due for another another bit of a, a cleanup on the laptop side of things, but as long as we're able to chunk through a little bit, we should be okay. Ooh. But oh my gosh, there might be no one online. On my end. I guess no one online is maybe a bit of a misrepresentation. There are tons of streamers online, but uh, no one on my, my list here. So we'll do a quick check to the DCSS category to see if there is anyone around. Uh, looks like we have a German streamer around. I don't know. We'll head there. It'd be nice to give them a bit of support, but I don't want to make them I don't feel weird bringing in a bunch of uh, non-native speaking audience here. So maybe instead I'll just give them you know, a soft boot here. Raider Dave 23 currently playing some DCSS. Looks to be a German streamer, so maybe can hit that way. And then on our end here, maybe we'll just wind this down the old-fashioned way, and we'll just hit that end stream button. So apologies if you had this on in the background and and wanted it to continue kind of cascading through. But, but hey, I think that works out for me. Hope it works out for all of you, and we'll uh, yeah, we'll end it on just a bit of a goodbye. I know it feels weird anytime I I do this, <laughs> even though I'm not even that much of a big like I know personality or anything in the Twitch community, even within the smaller circles that we run in. Um, so I don't think anyone's really missing out too much by not getting that raid in. But uh, it's still always just is a bit odd, to say the least. So thank you again, all of you, for joining us, of course. Um, and yeah, we'll be back, I guess, next week. If you have any recommendations for what kind of run you'd like to see uh, before we head off on a little bit of a vacay, then let me know. And uh, we'll see if we can't fit something in there, shall we? But of course, regardless of all of that, regardless of my incessant rambling here at the end of every stream, I do hope that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you out there. I definitely hope to see you next week when we will likely be jumping back in with a new character and seeing if we can't get another win under our belt. I guess uh, just remember, folks, never even for a moment didn't have it. I'll see you soon.